Welcome everyone, today we will be solving multi-map from CSX. Construct a function multi-map that will accept two arrays, an array of values and an array of callbacks. Multi-map will return an object whose keys match the elements in the array of values. The corresponding values that are assigned to the keys will be arrays consisting of outputs from the array of callbacks, where the input to each callback is the key. Alright, so let's write down what we know so far. We know that the input will be two arrays, arrays of values and array of callbacks. We also know that the expected output is going to be an object. Alright, uh, let's think about our approach to this problem. Uh, we know that for every single value from the array of values, we'll have to invoke every single callback from the array of callbacks, which means we will have a nested for loop. So let's write down some pseudocode to keep track of things. Well, first of all, we will have to create a result object that will be stored in our key value pairs. Then we will initialize for loop to go over the array of values. And on each iteration, as we're inside, we will have to create an empty array that will store all the results of invocation of all the callbacks with this value. Right, create an empty array. And then we will initialize inner for loop that will iterate over the array of callbacks. And on each iteration here, we will actually invoke callback with the value from the outer loop and push this value into an empty array. And then at the very end, after we are done with the inner loop, we have to assign key value pair to the to the result object. Where key will be the value and the value at the key will be array that we created earlier and filled up with the results from the callbacks. All right, so now that the pseudocode is in place, we can go ahead and create our function. We're going to use arrow function declaration. So const multi-map. And we know that it will take an uh, array of values and array of callbacks. Great. I'm going to move all the pseudocode inside so that we can follow it. All right. So uh, first things first, we need to create result object. Const object. Actually, let's call it result. Const result equals empty object. And now we can initialize our first loop. So for let i equals zero and i is less than array of values dot length i plus plus. Great. And I'm going to move pseudocode one more time. So now that we are inside of the first loop, we're going to create an empty array that will store results of invocation of all the callbacks with our current value. But before we do that, I'm gonna actually store current value in the variable so it's easier to refer to it. So we'll say const value equals array of values at i. So we can now just say value instead of array of values at i every single time. And uh, const array of results equals empty array. Now we can iterate over the array of callbacks. So for let this time j that equals zero j less than array of callbacks dot length j plus plus. All right so here we need to invoke the callback with the value and push its evaluation to the 
array of results, right? And I'm gonna, again, store the callback in a variable because it's just easier to refer to it. So I'm gonna say const callback equals array of callbacks at i. Wonderful. And now we can just say array of results, which is, should be plural, array of results dot push. And I'm gonna invoke our callback, which should be singular with the value and uh, it'll evaluate inside and will be pushed to the array of results. Okay, and then here, once I'm done with the inner for loop, but I'm still inside of the outer for loop, I'm gonna assign key value pairs to the result object. So we will say that result at value equals array of results. And at the very end, I need to return result. So let's walk through the logic one more time. All right, so multi-map takes array of values and array of callbacks. We're gonna create a result object to store key value pairs. Then we're going to initialize uh, our first outer for loop and we will iterate over every single value. And on each iteration, I'm creating a constant variable value just to store the reference to that particular value. And I'm also creating an empty array to store future results of invoking all the callbacks. Now, since we're still inside of this outer for loop, I'm going to declare secondary for loop that will iterate on array of callbacks. So inside of this loop, I have access to the value from the outer loop and to the callback from the inner loop. Again, storing the callback in a variable named callback just for the ease of reference. And I'm saying array of results dot push invocation of callback with the value. So it evaluates it and the result will be pushed into that array. And after that, when we are done uh, going over all the callbacks, I'm assigning key value pairs to the result object, right? So we're saying that result at value, which is our value from the outer loop, it equals to the array of results, which stores all the results that we received by invoking every single callback with that particular value. And then on line 23, when we are actually done with all the looping and we're outside of the first for loop, we are returning result, which is our object. So let's see if it works. Great, it passes all the tests. Good luck.